Cumberland Street in Everton. Um, this is a horrible, um, a horrible case of drunkenness. Shocking. Um, I, I won't go through it. But it ends up with the daughter in the witness box. And what this poor child has to do is explain how bad and drunk and shocking her mother was and made her, her father's life a misery. So what, so, so what this child has to do in court, and this is no easy matter, these courts were not like today with, you know, every, every appropriate thing being done for young people and videos, you know, behind screens and all this stuff. These were brutal, harsh environments in 1905, which made no pretense at making things easier for, for people. Even children, even children of seven or eight were given harrowing times in the witness box at this time. So what this poor daughter has to do is to say to the court how bad her mum is so that she can save her father from being charged with murder. That, I think, in this case, is what is important. The actual events of the case are so squalid and drink-ridden drink that I, I, they do not bear repetition. They do not bear repetition. But um, that's what this poor girl has to do. It is a grim uh, case. And what had happened in the end was the father had got so wound up and aggravated um, that he'd thrown a kitchen knife across a table. A lucky shot, I don't know. I don't know those knife. I don't know about that. But certainly the husband's armpit, a wound was caused in the armpit area and he died of blood poisoning later. Uh, a lot of cases that probably would be treated now or later ended up as blood poisoning before the first war, especially in the poorer hospitals. So, in this case, when the man is acquitted, another thing I want to bring to your attention, the acquittal is greeted by applause in the courtroom. Now, this is very interesting because, of course, the judges were always going on about how they didn't want their courtrooms to be theatres and how they wouldn't have it and that they would um, fight against this and that anybody who involved themselves in the case would be immediately thrown out. But of course it was theatrical. What more theatrical thing could you have than this daughter condemning her mother's behaviour to save her father from the noose? I don't think it would have come to the noose, but that's what she must have thought. How would she have known any different? When she went into that box, she must have thought she was saving her father from, from the noose. And she described a pitiful, pitiful situation um, in that case. So I just wanted to bring the case to our attention just on that reason alone. And I want to come to another case.